and what is up welcome back to the channel quick video today if you're back in here how about you hit that like button and if you're new here consider subscribing but as always wait till the end of the video so what i want to talk about today is something that i just i started going off on a tangent and just started writing and writing and writing and it all kind of made sense to me in my own journey and that was as you can see in the title sort of what like what manifestation really means and to dive into it essentially it's when people start talking about manifesting this and manifesting that it's normally they get sort of pushed into one type of community and i mean i know for me personally where it started was you know you're going into some type of job where there's sales involved now it, sometimes it's network marketing sometimes it's uh, multi-level marketing and it's normally in those types of industries where the certain books get handed out so you you read that first book on like a think and grow rich or you know one of these types of books and it really starts that course down that road and a lot of the times what i noticed is that people who come from a religious background it's sort of easier for them to to latch on to because a lot of the stuff that you read in all the holy books there's a lot of truth to them it's just in my opinion it's always misinterpreted it's made things to be very exterior even though i believe everything is happening within anyways um even neville goddard says it's a you should look at even the bible as a psychological drama and not historical events and that everything that happens in the bible is essentially everything that happens in someone's life but that's we can do a different video on that one and so basically for these people who grew up religious it's easier for them to sort of tap into it because they go oh wow look at all these similarities because hey they do speak about manifestation and they do speak about claiming things and um you know having faith to the for the unseen when someone goes down this journey of manifestation it's it's almost like and that, i think that's why they called it the secret to begin with because when you start going down that journey of law of attraction now law of assumption it's you kind of have to keep it to yourself because a lot of people will judge you like oh He's starting to talk about manifestation you know it's like they kind of shun you like what are you on about now type of thing so that's where it sort of becomes interesting that it is sort of the secret that you have to hold and you have to keep to yourself and you kind of hold it with you and you go wow look at all these truths that i read in this book and the thing is it's almost like no one else is doing it because everybody else is only talking about the problems that they have in their 3d space they don't they know that if you just think a certain thing and you feel towards it and you live like it's already done that you will eventually get it everything has its own appointed time you just have to have the faith that it's going to happen for you and just go on with your day and you look around and you go oh no one is doing that so back to the title is the real meaning behind manifestation is that i believe this is the beginning of the spiritual journey when someone starts talking about this because normally what happens is you get to a point in your life where things are just not working the old methods just aren't working for you and so what do you do now you start looking elsewhere you start looking outside of things and this is obviously it's a very personal journey and all it is doing is it's going from outward and it's turning inward. And now you're realizing through these books, oh, they keep talking about how I can do this with my own mind. And, you know, it's my, 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 it's I am able to do that. And so that's where it's, it's almost becomes very important because it now starts giving the person the accountability for the whole life for the life that they've led their whole life and it starts making you go oh i remember when this thing happened to me so i was actually the cause of this 
and I created this. And when, once you get that power within you and you go, wow, I'm able to create this, my life to be terrible, that means that I'm able to make it incredible. But at the end of the day, the journey, if you keep leading up that path, takes you beyond even the manifestation. Because you realize when you get to that, that center point, that focal point of where all life is expressed from, which is within you, you realize that, that you never really wanted anything else. You never really wanted the money and this and that and the other things. You thought you wanted it. But as soon as you start heading up that line, up that road, you realize that you are everything that you've always wanted the whole time. There's nothing that you've been without. There's, there's nothing to lose in this world and there's nothing to gain in this world. And then like that's if you're going all the way out to the other side of the sages and the mystics and things who and when they talk about enlightenment and that's essentially what it is. It's knowing that even this the physical body right now is just an avatar. It's just a type of video game that you're playing and you aren't it's not really your life. It's just what's happening right now and you are the source of that life. You're the one who's sitting way back and who's unaffected by anything that happens, even by death. And anything negative that happens, anything good that happens, you just remain where you are. And the point of that, when you actually find that, that place, you are so content with life. And I've experienced just a little bit of it. And every day I, I lean more and more towards it. And you're just so, it's, there's not even truly words to describe what it actually means when you're at that point, because you, it's just, it's beyond words, you know, it's another way you can look at it is that that is the ocean and then your body is just a wave and everything around you and all the things that happen are simply just droplets of water and ocean sprays and the like. But everything is just, it's made up of this. And you are the ocean. You know, and so eventually that's what happens. So it's kind of ironic that you, like, most people will start this journey wanting to manifest this, that, and the other. And when you truly go on this path of Brahman, which is the Atman, which they speak about, you realize that you don't even, those things were just what got you started so that's why i say it's ironic you start off wanting these things and then you end up wanting nothing because you already have everything you already are everything it's just my take on it and that's all i was going to talk about so i have written a whole essay that i will post down below you can check that out on medium it's completely free where i go more in depth with because obviously i'm now i'm just speaking from the mind so i there's a lot of that i miss out um, but anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit that thumbs up, share this with someone. I'm always sharing books and stuff with everybody. Um, and I know that I'm reading the books and then it's almost like other people don't have to, you know. I'll try to put it down in my own words, which is going to be a little bit more easier to understand. Share it with someone. And if you like this type of content, subscribe, hang out with us and that's all old videos are over there there subscribe over here and i'm out have a good one peace